What are these little tools that belong to a farmer and woodworker? What look like clamps on one side and points on the other end? They seem to be small tools, less than 3 inches long, and are likely around 60 or more years old. Any ideas? It's an antique beam compass trammel set from the 1910s, used in draftsmanship or engineering. They clamp onto a long ruler and are used for laying out large circles. The one with the small wheel is to accurately set the desired radius. What is this small plastic clown head found under the flooring? This was found underneath an old shed in Myrtle, Victoria. When you press the button, its eyes and tongue pop out. It has a ring that looks like it might have been attached as a keyring. An old country show toy perhaps. Parents-in-law are renovating an old shop and sheds. The last known purpose of the shop was an apothecary. Definitely a little toy or novelty of some kind. But curious to see if anyone knows its origins. This is a Kobe charm. They were plastic charms made in Japan from pre and post World War II. All have gravity activated features. I have had ones that were dogs, demon heads, dice cubes, and one that looked like a kabuki actor. They were often prizes in gumball machines. What is this gray block base with metal plates on top? A black plastic knob that only spins with flat metal rod things around the knob. Looks to have three metal pins on the left area of the object that are rounded out, with a metal bar with holes across it. Any ideas? It's a splicer for punch tape. You can repair torn paper tape by splicing in a new piece and manually punching holes in the new tape to match the torn piece. Using the row of holes on the left to guide the punch tool. The pins hold everything in place to avoid the splice part getting caught in the reader. I used something like this many years ago. The British Royal Navy used to like paper tape or more accurately Mylar tape because it is nearly indestructible. It took years to convince them to accept hard disks or other forms of storage. I found this metal standing hook with a serpentine design in a hoarder's house, around 16 inches tall. I can tell it is meant to hang something, but I'm not sure if it was meant for something specific. Any ideas? It's a stand for a hanging incense burner. It's missing the burner part. From an Italian maker Antonio Pandiani, in the 20th century. What is this thing I found in a 100 plus year old sewing box handed down in our family? No markings on it anywhere. Appeared to be three separate pieces of wood, roughly four and a half inches by three fourths inches. It's solid all the way through. What is it? It's a needle case from the 1950s. It opens and craters keep needles, sometimes even a small kit in there. What is this thing I found in a briefcase that also contained stamps and astronomy charts? It's about 2 inches long with a solid metal rod going through a red rubber tube. The tube bends easily and the rod is flattened on one end, so it can't go all the way through the tube. The fabric wrapped around it stretches and it seems to have three holes in it, so you can adjust which hole the thing goes through. It is very light and has no writing on it. The metal rod, rubber tube, and fabric can all be separated from each other. What is it? They don't really make them like that much anymore, but it's a guitar capo. It's a small clamp that you can attach to the neck of the guitar at a specific fret. Let's say you attach the capo at fret 2. It'll squeeze down all of the strings at fret 2 and keep them pressed down. What are these hundreds of giant rectangles being buried in a pyramid shape? Many layers deep under a planned highway in Quebec, Canada. Don't look really heavy but hard to tell. Some are spray painted, about 2 to 3 feet by 4 to 8 feet. Any ideas? That is geofoam, used to fill large gaps but lightweight to avoid soil compression. Due to the fact that it is a soil replacement, it can be covered to look like a wall or a natural slope, making it an aesthetically pleasing option. What is this cast iron thing down vertical bars and some mounting holes on the back? A friend of mine found this and thinks it was attached to some sort of vehicle. But doing a Google image search or searching for vintage vehicle grills hasn't yielded any results. What is it? It appears to be the grill of a Brockway truck, 1953 model. But they stopped making trucks in 1977. 
What is this silver thing with a lid that opens using the little rod? It's about 3 inches in diameter. It was picked up at a local thrift store. It has no writing on it. No smell from inside. It has a blue powder lining the inside walls. What is it? It's an antique silver chafing dish burner, missing the wick apparatus. The lid is for putting out the flame. It is commonly used before canned sterno for chafing dish sets. I have a few. What is this wooden tool with a handle or knob on top and a rounded half circle bottom? That evidently has something to do with writing. Found in a letter writing kit alongside a stick of sealing wax and a metal dip pen. Any ideas? It's an ink blotter, used to absorb excess ink when writing with fountain pens, possibly missing clips that hold the strip of blotting paper to the curved edge. I have an old decorative one, made of glass in the shape of a rocking horse. What is this bundle of 16.5 inches brass stakes with semi-ornate heads? Trying to price these for a yard sale, but have no idea what they're for. Made of brass and seem to be a couple of ounces each. I have attempted to search for brass nails, brass spikes, vintage brass skewers, etc. But nothing similar has come up. I worked in libraries for many years. Those look just like the rods that are held in the index cards and the card catalog drawers. What is this ceramic base with two divots and two brass arms? One is static, and one moves like a hinge. This is a unique brass object with two arms, into which perhaps something can be slid to be held. Also two divots on the base makes me think two objects should definitely be placed into it. About one foot tall and about eight inches wide. What is this thing? It's the rack from a balancing siphon coffee maker from the 19th century. It's a coffee maker made up of two containers placed side by side, one in glass for the coffee and the other in ceramic for the water. To obtain coffee from this new coffee maker, the water was transferred through the channel of a tube from one of the containers to the other to finally become heavy and trigger a pendulum, allowing it to switch off automatically and at the moment appropriate the burner. What are these house-like small constructions found in the cemetery in Amsterdam? Seem to be made of concrete, about 30 to 40 centimeters in height. We thought of a pet cemetery when we saw them first, but why they are reserved. And the sizes of these things are the same, which is a bit strange if we talk about different animals. Any ideas? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.